Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we are going to look at a design that is modular for a super easy tree farm. So let's get to it. To get things started, down in the video description will be a world download where you can find all of these versions right here. And you can either, you know, grab what you need to figure out how to build it or grab a schematic, whatever you want to do there. There are going to be several versions, some of which supply their own bone meal, some of which have TNT dupers, some that do not have TNT dupers. So if you're one of those people that doesn't like to use the exploit of TNT duping, you can still build this. So we're going to start out just looking at the tree growing collection first, and then we'll look at item collection. Those of you who have been watching my channel recently have probably noticed that I've really been enjoying doing those farms that are as basic and as cheap as possible. Um, there are ones where you can just try and go as OP as possible, and that's not really where I find myself having the most fun in the game. I really like doing these farms where it's, you know, how cheap can I make it? So this is a version that is... Uh, two type tree farm that is reliable that uses only eight quartz and 12 slime as your expensive materials obviously you're going to need things like uh, your pistons your redstone um, things like that but you'll notice we only have these sticky pistons there's a couple up there there's some down here and i say two tripe technically this will also grow jungle trees but you're not going to get enough saplings back for it to be uh, infinite and reliable um, as we know, those jungle trees don't drop many saplings. And then for spruce, that crushing chamber is just too small. And so there's actually a version back here behind all these other ones that will do spruce. But once again, it is unreliable because it's still not going to return enough. But with this one here, we can do birch and oak. So this is going to be really ideal for, it doesn't really matter what type of wood you need. You're not doing a specific build. You just need maybe planks for a recipe. You want to make a bunch of sticks to trade to a villager or things like that. Birch is definitely going to be the way to go because the birch trees inside this chamber can grow up to seven high. So you can get up to seven logs per birch tree. And it is reliable. It gets you enough birch uh, saplings back in order to run continuously. However, if you do want to do oak mode, there's this oak switch here. And when you press this button... It's going to push this uh, cobblestone into place and block it from growing the giant oak trees, which are going to put logs in the side and break this whole thing. And then to turn it off, once again, we hit the button and the double piston expender will pull that right back up. To start this up, I'm going to put a bot in place and I'm going to give the bot birch saplings because again, birch is going to be our best return on this. Uh, oak will be a continuous return as well, so that can be infinite. Spruce and jungle, uh, you can run a little bit of jungle through here. Spruce, you're going to need that other design as we talked about. So I'm just gonna run Birch here, but you just have uh, either the player or the bot looking at this dirt spot or the side of this log right here. And then I'm just gonna turn it to use continuous. So it's always placing a sapling there. And then we're gonna turn on this lever right here. That's gonna turn on this clock to turn on the bone meal. That bone meal is gonna shoot out of this dispenser at two times hopper speed at these saplings. As soon as one grows, that is gonna send power into that log which is then going to QC this piston right here. We then have this note block underneath being updated on our same clock so that this piston gets an update so that it knows that it's powered, sends the observer into this, and then it turns on the piston wall crusher where the saplings fall down into those hoppers and then get shot back over here and shot at the player who's standing there to refill the inventory with the saplings. This one is a manual bone meal input, so you are gonna to need to manually input your bone meal. And we do need to make sure that we have two hopper lines feeding into that dropper that feeds the dispenser so that we can actually fill that at two times hopper speed. And then this version of the design all the way on the left here, we have designed so that it's just going to push all the logs into a big square. Once this is filled up and it can't push anymore, that's going to stop the bone meal use so you won't waste any bone meal. And then you as the player can come back and can cut this down. You're going to get about a thousand logs in this section per use that you run it. It's gonna be on average because you can see some of them grow five, some grow six, some grow seven. And this is how it look. You can then come by with your ax and chop all this down and get that if you don't wanna do any of the TNT methods. And you can see the machine is still running. I'm just gonna turn this off so we can hear ourselves think. We'll see even though power is getting sent into here and that piston is extended, the machine is now paused because it actually can't push past that push limit. And so even if I turn that back on and we can see it running that dispenser, is not going to actually be shooting out any of its bone meal because there's nothing there to bone meal. It's just a log. 
One thing we want to note is we do want to maximize the amount of saplings we're getting because we do not have a lot of space in here for leaves to grow. So we do have a, a hopper mine cart that's actually pushed into this dispenser right here. And the way you would do that in survival is to have a block right here so you can curve the rail this way and then a block on top so that it'll curve that way. Then you can break those out. And then you'll have this curved rail left over. Put a mopper mine cart on there and then walk into it. That hitbox has already started out inside of the dispenser. We'll turn on hitboxes here. We can see that hitbox is already inside of there, so it's already colliding. So we can push it in a little further. And now that hopper mine cart can pick up anything that lands on top of the dispenser, because obviously if we put a hopper underneath it, then it would just start sucking the bone meal out of there. Then once you've chopped down all your logs and you come back to restart this, you're going to need to make sure that you break out that block so that you can get a sapling back in there. And obviously unpower, but you'll notice this is not going to retract yet. Just right click your note block and that'll then retract and be ready to start going again. It's also important that the pushing blocks that you have back here to push the trunk forward are log blocks. They don't have to be stripped or anything. I just did that to differentiate them. Uh, but you want to have those to be log blocks so that the tree can still grow inside this space. And then down here, you need it to be a glass block so the tree doesn't check this bottom layer. But you need this to be black. Right? But you need this to be a glass block so that when power goes into this block here, that glass block isn't going to QC the piston so that this can then retract. So we're going to go down the line here. This next version right here uses manual TNT input. So if you don't want to do any TNT duping, uh, that's completely fine. That's your prerogative. Here's a version that you can use with just a dispenser. This is going to use a little over 1100 TNT per hour. You can add on more chests here if you want to run this for even longer AFK. And then this version also still has the manual bone meal input. We have used the same on off switch that sets off our clock to then also turn on this clock up here. And this clock is what will release that TNT. And then there's a delay before the trap door will open and drop the TNT so it'll explode in midair. And then our water stream is just gonna carry them over here. We'll line them up with hoppers and drop them into there. So we don't have any item sorting on here because again, this was designed to be using as few of those nether materials like quartz as possible. You could easily add in some item sorters and even over here at the end, the final version, there are item sorters on there. So when you're running birch, you're gonna get about 13,000 birch per hour when you're using TNT to do your item collection because you don't have to stop when this thing fills up and then uh, restart it up again. So that's gonna be about 13K birch per hour. I'm gonna turn this into oak mode. And you can see we are getting oak trees out of it. This will be continuous, but we are going to get a little bit less than only about 8K oak per hour because the tallest that they're going to grow up here is five. Again, they're only growing that tall because this cobblestone block is blocking them. But without this, it's going to grow those um, giant oaks once in a while, which are then going to have logs on the side here. And then it's just going to clog up your pistons. You're not going to get enough of the um, saplings back and then you're gonna run out of saplings. Next in line is one that automatically feeds us our bone meal and still uses manual TNT. So this is Il Mango's bone meal farm using moss. He has a video on his channel where he reviewed uh, a bone meal farm and this was a slight modification. I believe he said there were some others involved in it and I apologize, I don't recall the names, but you can go check out Mango's channel if you want more information on that. This, so this is the uh, kind of version two of that where it works a little bit nicer with everything coming up from the bottom instead of kind of going in multiple directions. But this will provide us with plenty of bone meal to shoot out at two times hopper speed from that dispenser and still have a little bit left over. So this is gonna run at about 19,000, 20,000 bone meal per hour. This system is going to use about 17,000 because you have all that time when the um, tree grows and the time where it takes to push. Even though it's doing it pretty quickly, an actual game ticks that's taking up a significant portion of game takes there. However, do I recommend building this? Um, well, we have this system here, which is meant to be small, simple, built with cobblestone and planks and, and get it out quick in the early game. And then this is a, I mean, that's a lot of target blocks. That's a lot of sticky pistons. That's a lot of observers. This is definitely not an early game thing. I feel like once you're at the point where you're ready to build a bone meal farm of this size, it might be time to consider building one of Ilmango's four type tree farms where they're going to be uh, just as efficient as the bark, but they're also going to be more efficient with their oak, their jungle and their spruce. Um, so he even has universal tree farms that can handle acacia as well. So you can get that out of it. 
Um, and this is just a module that can fit onto those. So you just have this part where the uh, waterway is coming out, feeding on the extra bone meal, going into your tree farm. But I've included it because if you really want to, you can put it onto here. So I've hooked this up so that when you turn on the clock, that then unlocks this clock for this farm. Then the excess bone meal comes down this chute. It's this little mini batcher right here and then runs over the hoppers that are feeding into the dispenser. The leftover just flies into the water collection here and right over to where your chest would be. But again, thanks to Mango for letting me use his moss farm design and definitely check the video description. I'll have a link to one of the tree farms of his that I really like building in my worlds that you would be more suited to use this type of system for. Next, we have a version with TNT duping that uses the manual bone meal input. So again, this is still a little bit more early game or maybe in like a uh, skyblock scenario. You still really don't need that much quartz. This one would be uh, nine quartz. And we're doing a similar system with delay and dropping the TNT in a trap door. And then we just have uh, this little system here to make sure that the TNT gets aligned. We don't want it to fall on top of those logs that are coming out of the farm. Otherwise, it'll land too high and blow up our duper. And then over here to the finalized version, this is all the modules that make it truly infinite. As long as you have the storage to handle it, so you're going to need to extend the storage that's on this. That's just an example. This is not really about the storage of it, but actually running of it. So we have the TNT duper on here for infinite TNT. And then we have the bone meal farm on here for the infinite bone meal. And this can just run through our either our birch or our oak as long as we want it to. So I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun working on this one. I like this idea of trying to make farms um, as simple as possible while still being able to produce their resources. So again, I would refer to these as two type tree farms with oak and birch. You can run jungle through there, but you're not going to get enough saplings back to run that con uh, continuously. And then in the background there, there is also that spruce version, but again, is not going to return enough saplings to run infinitely. It will run for a long time. But even if you start out with a stack of spruce saplings in your hand, you are eventually going to run out. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, uh, the big thanks to Mango for letting me use that moss farm design. It is just nice and clean, easy to extend if you need more moss on there. So you can feel free to grab this world download and just grab that moss farm design if that's what you want. No offense taken there. And again, uh, check out the video description. If you want to get into the late game and upgrade to your universal tree farm system, uh, check out some done by El Mango. They're great with the TNT blast chamber add-ons he's got and all that. They're awesome. But again, I just was, wanted to have some fun making some really early game farm here for tree farms since... Uh, the farms that I use, you usually have to get like a honey farm up, um, a small slime farm going at least. Um, you need a bunch of obsidian. So I want to do this without any obsidian, as little quartz as possible, as little slime as possible. And I'm pretty happy with what we got here. I mean, 13,000 logs per hour when growing birch. Um, when what you need to do is make a bunch of chests or just a bunch of pistons, um, a lot of sticks, a lot of composters, all those types of things. It doesn't really matter what type of wood you grow, so you can do it with this. So check that world download down in the video description, and I will catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.